Hello and welcome back to the Triton Lego Railway for a special video. This is the Complete Collection Volume 8. So this is a video in a series that I'll do once every blue moon. Kind of just to go over all of the locomotives, the rolling stock and the structures I have on my railway. Now there are times where the railway will advance and times where I kind of stand still. So the last time um, I did one of these was a long time ago. I don't even know when. I really can't be bothered to look it up either because it's not really too important and that video is now out of date. Anyway, this is going to be me um, showing you all of the locomotives, all of the rolling stock and all of the structures. While I say all, I actually mean some. There are some structures I will not be showing you for this video for the sake of making things easy for me. And I also have plans for more structures in the future, but we'll get to that in due time. So let's start off up here. Where all of my favourite locomotives are stored. So we have Tornado, the Polar Express, my beloved P2, the Southern Rail Bully Pacific West Country class, I have my Hush Hush, here's my other P2, and of course behind here we have Mallard. Coming to this little corner here we have the City of Truro, we have Thomas the Tank Engine, Lady, yes Lady from Thomas the Magic Railroad, I still have that. Let me actually grab that because some people might not have seen this before. Yeah, nice little tank engine. Beautiful little thing. Simple. I love it. Nice to have another tank engine on the railway. And to go back over here, we have Stevenson's Rocket. All of the models you see here have their own mock showcase videos, so make sure you have a look at them on my channel. And we still have the four big giants. So these are some of the more uh, favoured giants by me and viewers. Emerald Champion, still alive. Big Red, of course it will be, Greyhound, didn't want to take it apart, and shout out to Dr Hyena, your sunset is still alive. So yeah, if you know, you know. So that is all of the favourite locomotives, I do have some more stored away in here. So this is one of a few drawers I'm occupying with LEGO train storage, so as you can see here I've got the Horizon Express the 40th anniversary train which has had been tip, uh, tipped over that's okay because i think it actually fits in better like that it seems a bit bad to kind of show it like this seems like i'm neg uh, neglecting it but don't worry it's fine it's clean it's just a bit dusty i have some of the tlr class locomotives the white 242 the yellow tank and uh, yellow tank engine Underneath there is the blue tank engine i did recently in here is also flying scotsman just there on the end on top we have the Hogwarts Express and the Crocodile Locomotive in its three separate units. It's not broken, it's just how it can be taken apart to be kept in easier storage. Now let me quick, uh, quickly lift up this bit just to show. There's the tender for the Flying Scotsman. There's the kind of the back of the cab and the red TLR class tank engine. Now when it came to scrapping things um, a few weeks ago, I scrapped the Flying Scotsman's second tender, so I do have the power functions available, and they are in this drawer. So this is more miscellaneous items, wheels, coach bases, a few odd things. So here is the power unit from the Flying Scotsman's second tender. In the future I might do something with it, but for now I don't really have any desire to. I'm moving away from trains and rolling stock, I'm moving on to structures, but... Again, if I want to power another coach or something, just to have something else powered, that's always available. And yeah, you can see it's its own complicated mess. I've got loads of controllers in there. Up here, as um, you saw earlier, but I kind of missed over, the power-up controller from the 2018 cargo train set. And a functioning power functions controller. I have a few of these with batteries in, but I only need one because all of the powered items are on the same channel. So there's that. This drawer holds more miscellaneous things, some vintage wagons, the night bus which I've still got because it's a really nice set, but it's not really train related nor is it going to be doing anything else so for here, um, for now it's just in here. Some 9 volt stuff as well, sadly this doesn't really work as well. I probably could get it all plugged in and working, but it's just nothing I'm going to be using ever again, so sadly it's going to live here for the rest of its life. And underneath the night bus is just some more miscellaneous pieces, nothing really to 
get excited over. But yeah, that's just what this drawer holds. Underneath, we have rolling stock. Now, some pieces were taken out fairly recently in the scrapping, so some space has been made available. Just a collection of random coaches that don't really fit with anything else. They're coaches of their own design. Plenty of trucks and other freight-related rolling stock. And tucked away in here, if I can try and get it to be shown. Uh, if I move that one, there we go. So over here is the 2006 winter train. So this is the tender. Not quite a 100% rebuild. And the locomotive is there as well. It's a nice little train, and I can remember a year or two ago putting this back together because I thought, well, it's a nice set. What's the point of just having it in parts? And now we go on to this drawer where more locomotives are stored, as well as my long coaches. So we've got the three Emerald Knight coaches in there, the Metro Atlanta coaches are in there, and the red coaches are tucked down there on this side. Here is my red boxcar with power functions. I had a, um, I had two Kit Kats recently. I had the idea to cut out the Kit Kat logo on the wrap on the wrapper, stick them on the side. Looks quite nice. My ghost train still exists. Of course it does. I love my ghost train. I've got all my narrow gauge stuff in here. I've got the two coaches, the small truck. I have the narrow gauge P2, red rocket, the breakdown crane. I have a taxi in there for some reason. Okay. There's the jet engine from Thomas and the Jet Engine, another TLR class tank engine, and Smokey Joe. Smokey Joe lives in there. Sadly, you can fit up top. I've also got two diesels in here. Really old Lego system diesel, 1991, if I remember correctly. And underneath this, the 2018 Power Up diesel. Again, nothing particularly exciting. So that is pretty much all the good stuff. Over here, we can see this is where I'm keeping my super train station. This is going to be going through one more modification, and then it's going to be finished. It's not um, it's not going to be as big as I want it to be, but in terms of getting a layout sort of organized and getting something sorted, it is kind of approaching that point where I need to kind of just wrap it up for now. Whilst the ultimate goal is for it to be 10 times the original size, you know, realism uh, needs to kick in a little bit, and, you know, I thought to myself, well, it's not completely necessary. So, it lives there because it can't really go anywhere else, it's so massive. And the modification is going to be with these two side pieces here. So, on this side of the platform, it's two layers tall. And on this side, where these two pieces will be along here, it's um, yet to be updated. So, that's what I'm going to be doing soon. Just to look at these... I have some track left out on purpose. So the rest of my track is in this bottom drawer here with the Nerf Demolisher in the way. I'm not opening up because it's just track. I mean, it's not really exciting. But this is enough to do a basic loop around the floor. So if I want to do an, um, a train in action video, I've got the track to hand straight away. I have to move a bunch of things out of the way. And this is my narrow gauge track next to that. I haven't really got too much, so when it comes to having a bit of fun with my narrow gauge locomotives, I got the track to hand straight away. I could just make a loop and yeah, just go from there. I have two circles worth of curved tracks and I have 12 straight track pieces. Uh, 12, um, 12, uh, 12 straight, two circles worth of curve. I think I said that correctly originally. I had to stop and think for a second there. And finally, we're going to make our way over here. This is a little collection of things I pulled out just before the video began. So this is something I'm going to be playing around with when it comes to the updates with the station as well. So I've got a few freight related items. I've got this thing that came with the red cargo train set. I think this did as well, which I think looks quite nice, but I can definitely do some work with this. Got two forklifts and a selection of minifigures. This is a really old, uh, I say really old, it might even be a year old, I don't know. But this is an old um, modification of the signal box that came with the, uh, was it the 2018 City Cargo train set? Or was it the Red Diesel one? I can't remember, but it looks something like this and this looks awful. However, I am gonna be, again, rebuilding this into something that looks much nicer, matches the architecture of the, Station, 
and I'm going to be working on a freight depot as well, so that's going to be interesting. Now that is pretty much everything. Oh yeah, I may as well show this off. This little box here, I'm holding all of my extra drive wheels and other train related wheels that I'm not using. So it's nice just to have them all in one um, area. Because in the future, if I do think, oh, you know, I've got an idea for a train, I can get to them straight away. So there's that. So, yeah, that is it. Just to quickly poke the camera this way, if I can try and zoom in. Is it going to work? Well, yeah, it can. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. This is the first time I've used the zoom in for this camera. So you can just see between where the seat is and where the desk is. That is the corner of the... 2017 winter train station there are some other stations and built up structures from train sets underneath my desk but since they are existing products it is nothing worth showing you so that's the kind of energy i've saved myself when it comes to making this video i haven't brought everything out just because it's not custom so there we go, that is the TLR Collection Volume 8. All of my locomotives, most of my structures, all of my rolling stock, and uh, hopefully a little hint as to what I'm going to be doing in the future. More work with the station, we're going to finalise that. I'm going to be doing some more stuff with the signal box again. I'm going to be doing some freight related works, and things are going to be picking up quite a bit. So thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.